guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Um, I got this video idea from a channel. Um, this lady is called Laurel Bell W. So, um, I've been following her for a while. I think her video is really nice, and she did a video about five times a Louis Vuitton or oh, an ordinary bag beats a Louis Vuitton bag. So I got the inspo for this video from her, so I hope you don't mind me stealing this Laura Bell, but I just thought this was like a hilarious topic because there is so many times an ordinary bag beats a Louis Vuitton bag. So I'm going to say one of the scenarios where you really probably don't need a Louis Vuitton bag is music festival. So when you go to a music festival, especially if it's like one of those like outdoor four day ones, you're gonna get dirty, you're gonna get muddy, you're gonna be like in the mosh pit, you're gonna be like dancing, and you're gonna get really dirty, like mucked up. So, I've had this bag for probably since I was like 22 or so, and I'm almost, I'm almost 30, so <laughs> quite a number of years, and this is like a perfect bag for a music festival because it's plastic. It, this is by the brand Unif. And I used to be so obsessed with that brand. That was like a really cool, edgy brand. It's still around. Um, their kind of aesthetic has slightly changed, but I bought this years ago and it was like pretty expensive for me back then. It was like $150 or something, but this was like the it bag. It's like a holographic see-through. It's got trash in it, guys. Like, but this was perfect for the music festival because I mean, cause it's PVC, you can get it wet and not worry. It has a lot of like party elements to it and fluff. It's just the vibe. So yeah, I would not like bring necessarily like a bomb bag to a music festival. I know I see a lot of people, you know, go to Coachella and wear like, you know, Chloe bags and like Louis Vuitton. But I mean, if you're going to like full on like get down with the music festival, the machete is going to get ruined. Your bag is going to get trashed dust is going to get in the zip like here I can see all this trapped like dirt in the zip which I should probably clean like it's pretty gross but it's just going to get ruined guys so this was a perfect party bag like you can see like yeah it I don't know what's in here I haven't really I should clean it out it's like I came home from the music festival seven years ago and just chucked this back in my room so yeah lots of crap in there so yep I think a music festival is one of those places you need just an ordinary bag or just like non-designer. Also like maybe a picnic because I feel like when you go to a picnic you're sitting like on the grass, on the wet grass and you don't necessarily want to put your designer bag like on the floor or anything. I feel like the grass can get on the bag. And I feel like for a picnic you just need like a plastic tote kind of vibe style like a basket even like a wicker basket would be really cute for a picnic this bag is from a brand called uh susan alexander and i got this on sale so it wasn't super cheap but it's a lot cheaper than i think a louis vuitton bag i feel like a louis vuitton bag it's just not the vibe for a picnic so i would take something like this on a nice picnic like a romantic yeah picnic in the park this would be the bag i would choose also, I think if you're going to like an amusement park, um, there was a time where I went to Disneyland um, years ago and I took, I actually took like a YSL bag, I think it was like a Toy Lulu, I used to have like a metallic silver one, and I ended up just like putting that in like this Disney tote bag, which oh, it's still here, oh my god, it's filled with crap, but I ended up buying this Disney bag at like the merchandise kind of store and just chucking my designer bag in here because you know when you go in on rides and stuff sometimes you have to put your bag on the floor and I was just like oh, I don't want to ruin my designer bag and you're out in the sun all day you just want something really fuss free so I ended up just buying something from the Disney store to wear and also sometimes if you're at Disneyland especially in Tokyo they give well you can buy these like cute little like neck bags which is such the vibe I feel like of Disney so I would rather wear something like these fun bags to an amusement an amusement park just because they are a bit more like you know you can have fun you can run around you can go on all the rides you want and you don't have to be fussing about your designer bag and yeah I have worn a designer bag to the amusement park and 
I kind of just don't want to worry when I'm at the amusement park. So another bag, I would say sometimes for weddings even. I mean, I think a wedding is the perfect time to wear a designer bag, but sometimes you don't want to be too showy, I guess, in front of your family, and you just want something nice and simple. So this is a really cute bag. I think appropriate for a wedding. This bag is by Shrimps. I have some like tissues in it, like, I don't know, these I think I got from Japan. Like when you buy things in Japan, sometimes they give you free cute tissues. So I just collected them. Anyway, this is like my tissue storage bag at the moment, but this is a really sweet bag for a wedding. It's very decorative as well. I think it much, you know, it beats the LV monogram times a hundred in terms of like, if you're going to carry a bag to a wedding. So yeah, I think this would beat an LV bag, especially a monogram one at a wedding. Another time, if it's raining, guys, like I get really scared. I know you can wear a Louis Vuitton bag with Nova Shadow in the rain, but even so, I would not really recommend wearing your designer bags in the rain. So if it's out, if it's raining, you're just going out for a walk, just wear a, like a Kankin or something. Like this has been a lot, this beats a Neverfull to me because it's just, it's just a lot more chill. It's a lot more kind of fun. It's kind of, um, more playful as well. It's not as, I guess some people call it ever full basic. I, I think it's a really nice bag personally, but this is just a really easy fuss free bag. If you want a fuss free, fuss free bag, you don't have to go for like a never full or something. You can just get an ordinary bag, like a Kankin. So this is a lot cheaper. It does the job and it's cute. So yeah, another time I would say, I'm going to make this like six times where you don't need a Louis Vuitton bag. Even today, I had to go to the post office. Again, if I had a Neverfull, I might take it, but I would rather just take, even to the supermarket, a fabric tote bag. This is from Uniqlo, and this is so light. I can fit so much in this, and I don't have to worry about it. I can chuck it on the floor at the post office. I can put groceries in here. I can just not worry. And I think the little picture on it is cute. It's like a cause illustration um and yeah today i wore this bag a lot of the times where i go to the supermarket i'm not wearing louis vuitton i'm wearing something like cheap like this like ten dollars and that is fine and i think it's appropriate so yeah you don't need a louis vuitton bag in most circumstances to be honest another time i think you don't need a louis vuitton bag is if you want to get wild at like the club or at karaoke because i think like I realized like the other day, I, I like took this out and I noticed there was all these like brown soy sauce marks all over it and I'm just like what the hell happened to this bag? And I remember I went out to karaoke with some of my work colleagues like ages ago, like maybe at the start, at the end of last year and I knew it would probably be a crazy night so I didn't want to, I have a lot of really nice bags, I have Chanel, I have Louis Vuitton but I didn't want to take those out to the club. And I knew we were going to karaoke and dinner, so I just bought this. And looking back, I got it really dirty because I was just, you know, going crazy. People might be having drinks, they might be chucking things on you. Like, you just want something really easy but still kind of cute. So I would say Furlow is good for that. It's, it's kind of, it's cheaper, it's cute, it's young. So these are bags I would probably take, honestly, to the club. I might swap out the chain and... Uh, the strap and put like a chain on this so it's a bit more girly but you just need something easy if you're going out dancing like you don't need a Louis Vuitton bag it's probably going to get trashed and you're going to be upset like I know every time I wore designer shoes out to like the club which I haven't gone for it I haven't gone out in a long time but they 100% are going to get trashed like I know it so honestly I wouldn't bring your designer clothes to those or accessories to those sorts of moments in your life because sometimes you just want to enjoy your life and not worry about your designer bag anyway um what do you guys reckon do we even really need designer bags like i have so many i really love collecting them i love wearing them i would say i love wearing them like to work and i love wearing them when i go sh like to the shops even going out to the city i like wearing my designer bags and you know out to dinner and some you know more formal occasions definitely you know there's definitely a time and a place for designer bags and I really love just having them as well to be honest but there are moments in life where we just simply don't need them at all 
and they I realize are most moments in our lives so yeah anyway thanks for watching my